So Microsoft has just dropped something pretty exciting. It's called Magnetic One, a powerful multi-agent AI system that's changing the game. Now, I know that might sound like a mouthful, but hang in there. This system is like a team of AIs, each with its own specialty, coming together to tackle complex tasks step by step across all kinds of fields. All right, so Magnetic One doesn't work like the typical AI we're used to. This system actually goes beyond just giving you answers. It's designed to take action. Booking a movie ticket, writing code, or navigating files on a device handled seamlessly. Magnetic One can also operate web browsers, edit documents, and even execute Python code. The mastermind behind this whole operation is a lead agent called the orchestrator. Think of it like the manager of a team directing four other agents, each of which specializes in different tasks. Let's dive into these agents to see what each one brings to the table. So the first agent is called Web Surfer. This one's job is pretty much what it sounds like. It handles all web-based tasks. It can open web pages, click around, type, and even summarize content on a page. It actually handles everything from web searches to form filling without a hitch. Next up, we have File Surfer. This guy is the file and folder expert. It can navigate through files on your device, list out directories, and basically act as your personal file manager. So if you're trying to find a document buried somewhere on your computer, File Surfer can help you locate it in seconds. Then there's Coder. This one's probably my favorite. It's built to write and execute code, handle data analysis, create Python scripts, and develop small programs effortlessly. This one truly brings high-level development skills right to your fingertips. The person who developed this is slightly smarter than me. Slightly. Lastly, we've got Computer Terminal. Now this agent works with Coder by providing a virtual console or shell where all those programs and scripts Coder writes can actually run. It's also where you could install additional programming libraries if you need them. So imagine giving an instruction like, book me a movie ticket for tonight. The orchestrator would step in, break down the task, and assign subtasks to each agent. Web Surfer might navigate to the movie website, File Surfer could save the confirmation, and Coder could handle any data processing. Each agent plays its part, and the orchestrator keeps them all in sync. What are you doing? I'm rebooting Rudy's suit. Microsoft didn't just design Magnetic One to do one thing really well. They made it to be flexible and adaptable. Unlike a single agent AI where one model does everything and might struggle with complex tasks, Magnetic One's modular design allows agents to be added or removed as needed without affecting the whole system. And this flexibility is huge because it means Magnetic One isn't just locked into doing a few specific things. It can grow and adapt based on whatever task you throw at it, which is why Microsoft is calling it a generalist system. Imagine the possibilities if you could continuously upgrade your AI without breaking the core functionality. All right, now here's a quick look at the technology behind it. Magnetic One is built using Microsoft's open source framework called Autogen, and here's what that does. Autogen lets you integrate Magnetic One with different large language models, or LLMs, so you're not stuck with just one. If the agent can be backed by a large language model, it can be backed by a tools, or code executor, and also can be backed by a human user. Right now, it's optimized to work with models like GPT-40 and OpenAI's O1 Preview, but it's model agnostic. That means you can swap in other models or even use multiple models for different agents depending on what you need like having a model that's better at reasoning handle the orchestrator tasks. And to make sure the system is running at its best, Microsoft created something called Autogen Bench. This tool is like a testing ground for agent-based AI with benchmarks that evaluate how well each agent performs on complex multi-step tasks. Autogen Bench tests agents on real-world tasks using benchmarks like Gaia, Assistant Bench, and Web Arena, which are designed to measure things like planning and tool use. Microsoft's initial tests showed that Magnetic One holds its own, even against the best AI systems out there. So what can you actually do with Magnetic One? Like we mentioned earlier, Magnetic One is designed for all kinds of tasks, from software engineering and data analysis to scientific research and web browsing. It's built to be incredibly versatile. For a researcher handling a large data analysis project, the orchestrator agent could assign data fetching tasks to WebSurfer, organize local files with FileSurfer, and execute complex calculations through Coder, all without manual intervention. Or for a content creator managing web navigation, content summarization, or research compilation, Magnetic One's modular setup streamlines these tasks into one seamless AI solution, eliminating the need for multiple tools. 
Now what's interesting is how Magnetic One reflects this bigger shift in AI. We've gone from having AI just recommend things to having it take actions on our behalf. It's no longer just about suggesting a restaurant, it's about booking the table, placing your order, and arranging for delivery. Microsoft calls this an agentic system, where AI isn't just talking back at us, but actively doing things to make our lives easier. And as Microsoft says, we're only scratching the surface here, but of course, with great power comes some risks. Magnetic One is designed to be careful, but AI that can act in the world brings up new questions. During testing, Microsoft found that the agents sometimes tried actions they weren't supposed to. For instance, an agent kept trying to log into a website, causing the account to be temporarily suspended. In another case, an agent even tried reaching out to other humans for help, drafting a freedom of information request to a government agency. These examples show why it's so important to keep these systems in check and ensure they're acting responsibly. Microsoft isn't taking this lightly either. They're working with their deployment safety board to prevent these kinds of incidents, using techniques like sandboxed Docker containers for tasks that involve running code. They've also released guidance on using Magnetic One safely, advising on human oversight when the system takes irreversible actions. For instance, if an agent is about to delete a file, it's designed to pause and ask for confirmation. In the future, they're thinking of even more ways to handle risks, like programming agents to understand which actions are reversible and which aren't. This is still an evolving field, but Microsoft is definitely setting a precedent here. Now, this system isn't alone in the multi-agent game. Other big tech companies are also jumping in. OpenAI has developed a framework called Swarm, and IBM has something called the B-Agent Framework. These systems aim to handle complex tasks using multiple agents, just like Magnetic One. But where Microsoft's Magnetic One stands out is in its modular plug-and-play design. You can add or remove agents without needing to rework the whole system, which isn't as common in some of these other setups. To bring it all together, here's a quick recap of what makes Magnetic One tick. At the heart of it, you've got the orchestrator managing everything, backed up by the specialized agents we talked about earlier. The system is powered by Autogen, and Autogen Bench is there to evaluate and optimize each agent's performance on different tasks. And remember, this AI system is completely open source, so if you're a developer or a researcher, you can jump on GitHub right now and start experimenting. Whether you're looking to build a new application or improve your productivity, Magnetic One could potentially be a game changer in the world of multi-agent AI. So it's an exciting new chapter in AI, and we're only just getting started. Microsoft's vision here is clear. They want AI that doesn't just think, but acts, making it a real partner in everyday tasks. What do you guys think? Is this the future of AI we've been waiting for? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and as always, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more on AI and tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.